all right so here's the update it is right now 11 o'clock it is uh, March 10th it's 18 degrees in the habitat but 40 underneath the lamp right there and I just helped help this little guy to uh, break its shell he's been there since the last video which was about three hours ago so I said enough is enough and uh, sometimes they dry up and they die when they dry up and they can't move and then you open it up too late and then they're all stuck together in there so he's still nice and moist I'm gonna go back in there and uh, help him up a little bit more you have to be careful that you don't um, tear off the yolk sac because if you do that the chick usually it's happened to me a couple times usually the chick doesn't survive if you uh, help him too much let's say they take too much off sometimes it's not any better either so you have to just help him enough so that he's free and able to walk around okay but um, the best is you have to take all the shelves off because the shelves actually stick to him, the shell, and uh, that's what makes him, his feathers get all stuck together, you know. I'm really happy. It's the first born of 2016. Can't wait to see the kinds I'm going to be getting. Got Plymouth Rock mixed up with uh, Marin, mixed up with regular uh, red or brown chickens. And there's also a little bit of uh, cochin in there. I don't know how you say it in English. Co cochin. And they're all black. Black cochin, black moran. And um, Plymouth Rock is black and white. And the brown regular laying chickens are also in there. So I don't know what's going to happen with all that. But it uh, should be good.